Hi, I'm Holly Schultz from BabyGizmo.com. This is the Peg Perigo Jumper Seat. The Jumper Seat is Peg Perigo's newest accessory that is going to turn your skate, whether it's the 2010 or the older model, into a double. Let's take a look at it. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to reverse the seat. The seat has to be facing mom when you put on the jumper seat. It's just the way it has to go. There's no way around it. Reverse your seat, put it all the way up, and this is going to clip right to the frame of the skate. Clip it on, very easy to do, very quick to do as well. Just snap it on both sides. Make sure it's locked. And then push it forward until it locks. And this is gonna be your double seat. Now this seat has a weight capacity of 40 pounds. That's a pretty big kid. As you can see, our one-year-old tester fits in it perfectly. Even our three and a half-year-old tester fits in it well. It's a lower seat. It has no climb, so it's only for babies six months and up. Now, our only problem with the, the seat it has a three-point harness. Seriously, Peg Perigo, a three-point harness? Come on, you're better than that. We want a five-point harness. It's safer, and we just feel a little bit more secure with our child having shoulder straps. So that's our one complaint. Other than that, it's a pretty fun seat. As you can see, it has this three-point harness. Now, harness, it's hard to get off, but it's still not going to keep my child against the back of the seat like I would want. It's roomy. As I said, the three and a half year old fits in it wonderfully. Now it has no recline. Now since it has a three point harness, we're gonna go ahead and recommend that you probably don't put a baby under one in it, just because I just don't think it's secure enough. But from about one to three, it's gonna be a great place for an occasional rider to jump in and I mean, hitch a ride. Now it's not great for a full time rider because it does not have a canopy. As you can see, your rear rider is gonna be exposed to the sun. One thing Peg Perigo does recommend is that you use their umbrella accessory. Now if you clip that to the side of the frame, you're going to be able to shade your child with the umbrella. We like to see them at a canopy though so that we aren't having to buy extra additional accessories just to shade our child from the sun. Now one feature, this is not a sling seat. Even though it does fold up for storage, it is still a hard seat with a rigid seat that's going to give your child lots of support. Now this jumper seat, it can be used with the toddler seat facing mom. You're not going to be able to recline the seat all the way because as you can see, if I reclined it all the way, it's going to be in your child's way. I can recline it just a bit though. As you can see, my three and a half year old tester still has a little room. The seat's just a little bit in his face. And as you can see, your child's feet is going to be in the basket as well. So you're not going to be able to set up that cool shopping basket while the jumper seat is on. But again, not that big a deal. You can also use the jumper seat with the car seat adapters with a car seat. You cannot use it with a bassinet. There just isn't enough room. So just note that. Otherwise, the jumper seat, it's great. And you can leave it attached when you fold it. It takes a little bit of work to do it, but it's very easy. Let's show you how to do it. Now, folding the skate with a jumper seat on and attached, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's very easy to do. You just have to remember the steps. Now, you're going to make sure that this seat is all the way in the upright position and all the way upright recline-wise as well. You see this little red button? You're going to push the red button so it's going to release the, ju the jumper seat. Push on the back of the seat so you can slide it in like that. Then you're going to need to recline this seat all the way. Now, all the way is that way, but there's a button here, a safety button, that's going to actually let it recline even more so it's kind of upside down. Now, you're going to fold the chassis just like you normally would. Pull up on these two levers here. Step down on the fold button, and it's going to fold down there. And what they did for 2010 is that they added an automatic lock. I love that. There's nothing extra for me to lock. So this is a really compact package for a double stroller. So it's going to be, you know, and it's not too heavy. Like I said, it's only 28 pounds. Add the jumper seat, you've added a few more pounds, but it's still totally manageable. Holding the stroller, very easy to do. Just locate that, that automatic lock to unlock it. Pull up as you step on the frame. Now you're going to need to put your toddler seat back up, grab the recline to put it all the way up, take, push the back of the seat up again so you can slide the jumper seat by it, and push the jumper seat all the way until this red safety lock is um, visible so that it's locked into place. And that is pretty much how you open it with the jumper seat, so it's very easy to do. And this is the review of the Peg Perigo Skate 2010 by Holly Schultz of BabyGizmo.com. And this is the review of the Peg Perigo Jumper Seat by Holly Schultz of BabyGizmo.com. For the most up-to-date news and reviews, check out my blog at RatedByMom.com.